I think that American education is in the midst of what I would consider a perfect storm. Might, e might even be a tsunami. Uh, on the one hand, we have this terrible economy, and teachers all over the country are being laid off by the thousands. The pink slips are going out in many, many places to people who've worked very hard to become teachers and who are needed and who won't be there. Secondly, we have No Child Left Behind with all of the consequences that it's had for American classrooms these past eight years. And in my book, I have a chapter in which I describe it as a philosophy of measure and punish. And I'll get to that later. And then the third part of this perfect storm is the race to the top, which is the federal government bribing states to do the wrong thing. And as I've gone around talking in different states and to uh, different organizations and groups, I have said, urge your leaders, just say no. Don't do it. If you get the money, it won't be for plugging your budget holes. It won't be for rehiring the teachers who were laid off. It will be to do things that you don't think you should do. talk to teachers, the thing that we're most frustrated with in regards to our kids is the amount of testing that they have to go through. We are testing children to death and we're testing teachers to death. 20 years ago, we might have spent as much as two weeks testing. Today, in 2015, the average number of weeks a child spends taking tests can be up to six weeks. band-aids and we've been trying to backtrack and replace parts. Why don't we look at a way to create a more holistic education which includes social emotional content and curriculum? <laughs>